Okay, so you want to stream your Serato video to one of the streaming services. Let's say YouTube or Twitch, something like that. This is how you do it. First off, open Serato video. And as you can see, I've already got some visuals lined up. Uh, you can double click your preview there and that will show you what I've got loaded up. This isn't really essential at the moment because we're sort of just setting it up, but so we'll put that one to the side. That's pretty much all you need to do for Serato Video for right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to a program called OBS. OBS is awesome and this is what's gonna to talk to your streaming services. So what we need to do now is run Serato Video into this. So we're gonna go over to here, we're gonna click this plus button and we're gonna create a new scene. So we'll call this one OBS Serato. Then what we need to do is we need to create a source. That's what's gonna bring our feed in. So we click this button and this is the important bit. You wanna click Siphon Client. That's this button just here. Press OK. And now we wanna get our source. So we click on here and as you can see, you've got the post mix, deck two and deck one. What we want is we want the main feed coming out of the mixer. So we're gonna choose post mix. There it is, popped up straight away. Now my feed from Serato video is coming in to OBS. As you can see, OBS is awesome. I can move this box around. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. I can run as many feeds in as I want. I can run webcams, all that sort of stuff, green screen. So you can do whatever you like. This is your preview window. And then to make it live, we just bring this fader over. When you're ready to stream, we just want to set that up as well. So what we want to do is we just click settings and click on the stream button. As you can see, I've already got it connected with Twitch, but you can, you can stream to YouTube, Facebook Live, Twitter, now X, or whatever you like. You will need your stream key, that's important, and you can get that from the settings of whatever streaming service you're using. Press OK. Then when you're ready to go, it's as simple as pressing start streaming. That will automatically connect with your streaming service and before you know it, you're live. And it's as simple as that. Hopefully this helps. Uh, and if you've liked it, obviously, do me a solid thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks for watching.